All right, guys, what's up? Thank you for coming to another RT detailing video. And in today's video, we got the homie Adrian, who is 19 years old, has cars coming to him. He has a small truck, making it happen. And today, he's working on a Nissan, something simple, in and out, outside and in. Let's see how it goes. All right, so let me ask you real quick. What's the job? What are we doing today for this one? Okay, so for this job, we're just gonna do an interior and a simple exterior. Okay. Yeah, so so we're gonna start off with the interior vacuuming. Well, first taking out the mats, um, depending on how dirty they are, we'll yeah. pressure wash them. If not, we'll just um, uh, vacuum them. Is it your most simple package or do you have something simpler than this? Then my next simplest thing is just exterior and that's oh, it. Oh, exterior. And that's it. So the, uh, you have your lowest package exterior yeah. And then there's the one above it, yeah. which is exterior and, and intel. Interior. Yeah, interior. interior. Yeah. What's above that? Wax. Oh, wax. Yeah. yeah. Because from there, I clay the car, I mm. clay the vehicle, and then um, I go ahead and just lay the wax on. Usually leaves it silky smooth, like, mm. I mean, really smooth. And then what's above that? Was that it? Uh, no, from there, it goes on to like polishing. Because oh. that's paint correction. So that's like, you want to fix the paint that's already been damaged. And Bit beat up you know you want to clean it up gotcha and then and then you know and then within that there's like you know a two a one step uh like a basic polish or you want a heavy polish or oh, one wow. step a compound and heavy polish or compound or regular polish Damn. you know and then from there and on um if you want to step it up or not you do ceramic coating or oh, ceramic coating with a polish and everything you know got it all right man let's get started adrian right. let me see your magic you don't got no packages with holy water in it? With what? With holy water? With holy water? Yeah. What do you mean? For like, you know when you're, you got demons and stuff, throw some holy water on them? You don't offer that? Uh, I'm messing with you, bro. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I mean, no, cause yesterday I, I, I did a car, it was very and filthy. It was filthy? There's ants coming out of it. Oh, you needed that holy water. Yeah, oh. no, I was like, Yo, man, like, come on. I, I, wait, wait. I straight up tell him, like, hey, I'm, some of these things I'm not going to be able to get out because they're just too old. You know wait, wait, wait. So there was a guy who said, hey, come do my car. Yeah, in the interior. Did you send your picture to nothing? No, because uh, I, I was like, they're like, oh, it's just like a simple, you know, just carpet. You they know, always on the play. They yeah. always on the play. Yeah, and then and I'm like, all right, it sounds this simple to me. Yeah. So when I showed up and I saw the vehicle and I'm like, I'm like, it was an older, it was an older Infinity. And I was like, I don't think it'd be too bad. And then I open it. When I open it, I'm like, that's why I'm like, oh man. So what you do? Did you take the job? Did you charge it more? Did you tell them, nah? I, I was I was borderline ready to be like, nah man, I'm good. Thank you for <laughs> having me out here. <laughs> but I'm sorry. This is just like this is like, you know, because that, uh, that's like equipment that I don't have to be able mm -hmm. to fix. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. You. you know, like that there's some equipment that needs to be involved there that I don't have access to and I haven't gotten yet, yeah. you know? Um, so what'd you tell him? How, how did that end? So what I ended up doing it, I, I was just like, look, I was like, look, man, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Um, I ain't gonna be able to get everything out. Like, I'm gonna do my best to make it better, but um, good chances that that mat um, probably won't change at all. And you I'm like, if anything, like, I don't think it's even worth it to wash it. I think it's better to just buy a new one. But like, I'll do what I can. He's like, yeah, no, just, just do what you can, man. It's all right, yeah, and everything. Okay. And, and then I worked on it. Um, and then he ended up tipping me like 40 bucks extra. Wow. Yeah. Good thing you stuck with it. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I was like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. I, after that, and then um, after that, I was like, all right, awesome. You know, like, uh, you know, I, I got to fairly well. Cause he saw the work, he's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I know this looks good. Yeah. This looks good. And that's one thing though, customers' expectations sometimes will be through the roof or will be way under. And as a detailer, I think perfection. So, and that's one thing that um, I have a mentor who's also a detailer that tells me like, sometimes like, like you as a detailer, you want perfection, but sometimes that's not what it's like, that's not what the customer's expectation is. They just know they just want it better. So oh. that's when sometimes that comes into play and then like I want to do everything to do perfect, but then I can't spend so much time on it because the price I charge him yeah. was not was wasn't wasn't time worthy of, yeah. of the it. So like I was like, look, I'm gonna do my try to do my best. He told me he wants the carpets clean, so that was my main focus. Everything else um, was kind of just like clean it as much as you can, but if it's not coming off, let it be, move on. Got it. Yeah, that's All the way I did it. All right, sounds yeah. good, man. 
Hey, this car isn't really that dirty, huh? No, yeah, this customer really keeps it um, clean through the inside. So this is one of the ones that I can knock out in and out. And the only thing that gets really dirty is the exterior just because um, sometimes the car sits a lot. So then it will just collect dust. So um, like that, these customers are usually my favorite because these are the ones that I can knock out in and out and, you know, just um, get finish, finish up and move on to my next customer. So, so with certain clients, I know that I can book a less, um, I guess, a gap to do their car just because I know their car isn't as dirty as, you know, some of my typical clients that come in uh, bi-weekly sometimes, you know? You know, and then I have my clients that they're weekly and those they're already in tip-top shape And I just keep it that way because um, they just want their cars clean um, So they always have me go weekly and I always make sure to have their cars clean and it makes my life easier And I get paid and I um, and I can do the cars in less time which makes life a lot easier. Got it All right, Adrian, so you done with the vacuum? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with the vacuum right now What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pressure wash the mats just because um, it's easier um, than vacuuming them because in general, they you can vacuum them, but it's just a lot easier and a lot better result just to rinse them down, just to hose them down with the pressure and, not, and let it knock off all the dirt and everything and just go ahead and let it dry. Um, I usually typically just have one flap down so I could just let it dry on top of here, let it hit the sun once it's done. And meanwhile, it's drying, I go ahead and wipe down the interior and once I'm done with that, put them back in and start with the exterior. So you were telling me that you already worked on this car before? Yeah. So Put a ceramic coating on it? Yeah, I did a polish and ceramic coating on it. Um, I did a giveaway for a polish and then I just had to just um, pay the extra to get the ceramic coating. And the ceramic coating is what it does. It makes the water bead drastically. It makes it a lot easier to clean. Yeah, it looks huge. Yeah. The water bubbles. Look, like, watch this. Again. Basically already drained. Just one pass, it makes it a lot easier to work on. It also makes it a lot easier for the customer to keep their car under maintenance and even to have um, their vehicle looking shiny and everything. It preserves the paint for a um, minimum of two years. Um, it can last up to five years if, you know, the car's garage kept, you know, anywhere in the middle, if it's well kept, you know. It depends on how you upkeep your vehicle and that's how long the ceramic cone will last you. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, ceramic coatings is a very, very picky thing to apply. Um, it starts off as a liquid, and then it hardens as a kind of like a crystal glass. So and then, where'd you learn all this? My, my, At the University of YouTube? Yeah, a good amount of it, yeah. <laughs> That's where I found the product, actually. That's where I found the product, and then, you know, the, the University of YouTube, you know? And, um, and also, like, uh, um, in general, just... I asked around, um, like honestly, all the detail. All, if anyone wants to start detailing, and they're young. Ask other detailers, you know. Like, but the thing is that you gotta, you gotta give to receive. So sometimes you gotta give away some of your time for you to learn this valuable stuff. Because then this valuable stuff will make you the real money in the in the long run. These ceramic coatings um, by themselves, um, not even polishing, just clean the car and just applying it on top. I I charge three hundred because. It's so picky to apply. Just applying the pro the applying process can take up to like two to three hours because it's very strenuous. It's a very uh, picky um, liquid to apply onto your vehicle's paint. If you don't do it right, um, it'll leave high spots and you'll be able to see them and notice them. Obviously, they can come off, but it's extra work that you have to do. And you know, and if you want to do good work, you, <laughs> you can't be um, leaving stuff like that, you know, on vehicles. So yeah, you know, it's all this, you know, a lot of people will be willing to help you. Um, if you just show that you're humble and you know, you don't got a big ego, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna be the best, you know, I wanna be, like, yeah, no, that's fine. If you wanna be the best, be the greatest, yeah. You know, go for it, by all means. Even me, I you know, I, to a certain degree, I, you know, I wanna be the best and everything. But I know I'm one year in, I'm still really early in the game. So I still have a lot left to learn, to, you know, be considered one of the top, one of the top people in the industry. I know I got a lot to go to get to that point. But you know, it's all in time, patience. I got you, man. I yeah. got you. Not rushing. So, how did you learn? Somebody taught you? Yeah. Um, so, the guy you've been telling me about? Yeah. He helped you out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah my mentor. Um, he, uh, he'd be like, if you want to learn, bring a 
a pencil and a paper and some note and some paper, yeah. and paper and take down notes. I'll show you how the business works and how it's run and you know how you run it legitimate and how you make money off of it being legitimate. And how'd, also you, how you, how'd you find his mentor? Um, through a connection actually. Yeah. Connections are very important. Networking. Always remember to network. Always, you know, try to be people's friends. You know, like don't try to like, you know, like uh, just use them, but like honestly get to know the person, you know? Um, if, if you know that, that, you know, you can help him, then help him. If, you, if he can help you, he'll, he, yeah, then, um, he'll help you, you know? Just, you know, um, be, be friendly, you know? Gotcha. Don't be greedy. How did your first ceramic coating go? As planned or were there a lot of headaches? It, 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 it more like instead of me, me taking like three hours, it took me more like four or five hours to apply. Oh. Just because I wanted to do it so good, I wanted to leave it perfect. I didn't want to, I didn't want to rush something that I was gonna do my first one, and then you know, because a lot of things. Oh, also another thing, for your first time, don't always expect it to go perfect. Always, always, like, like, always be prepared for something to go wrong for you to make a mistake. Why? Because you're human. I make mistakes. I've had it where I've worked on 911 Porsches. And I was polishing the paint, and um, and and the you know and well I didn't burn the paint because I was I was able to fix it but you know I you know I went a little too long for on one side so and it hazed up the paint so it cut a little too much into the clear coat and it was back when like I was barely into um, barely like kind of more starting uh, the business this um, this is when I barely got the truck running but I didn't even have a water tank by then I was still using people's water mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, expect for something to go wrong. Well, not don't expect, well, yeah, I guess expect it. Just, um, you know, cut yourself some slack on the first try, you know? Pra mm -hmm. Practice makes perfect. And talking about mistakes, this and that. Yeah. All right, all right, you're not to throw anybody under the bus, but do you have an experience like that where you messed up big and maybe you did something to a customer, maybe you lagged it, maybe, I don't know, bro, a, a, a tree branch fell on the car and you had to fix it. Anything ever happened where, you, where you're like, you were worried for a second? Oh yeah. Uh, so honestly, one of the big ones is the, that, that Porsche 911. It was a, a Porsche 911. Well, no, it wasn't a Porsche 911. It was a Porsche um, Carrera 4S. It was a 2016, 2018. And then what happened? What'd you do to it, Adrian? I was polishing it and then for some reason, and then you know, I was using compound, I believe, and the paint, it was black paint. It hazed up and I'm like, oh shoot, well, I'll just go over it with a regular polish, you know, and it should correct it. I went over it and nothing happened. Wait, what's haze? So haze, so you, you, you see like how this clear coat is clean. Yes. It, it's, it's clear, it's reflective. You can see it like a mirror, right? Yes. You couldn't see that. Oh, it was like dull. Yeah, it was dull. Oh. Because um, the science behind um, polishing is when when you're polishing a car, if it's a heavy polish, anything uh, anything heavy polish and above, um, you're actually removing clear coat. That's what you're actually doing. You're removing clear coat because the reason why you can see swirls and all that is because the clear coat it's not even. It has a lot of imperfections and a lot of you know scratches. And to the microscopic level, it's an even. So when the light hits it, it hits it at an uneven angle and it reflects it and that's when you can see the swirl. So what'd you do? Um, I kept going over it was a polish and then um, at one point I just kind of like, all right, relax, man. Because um, I was starting to like get finicky panicky because you know, this is towards the beginning of my business, you know, um, I, I'm, I didn't have money. Like <laughs> if, 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 if you would have told me, it's like, I want you to get it fixed. Oh shoot, I guess I'm just gonna have to sell everything I have. Like, cause I basically have nothing, you know? Yeah. And then uh, what happened, what happened? So I just went over it again and I was polished. I went over it like five times before I came back to normal. Oh. And then afterwards, just to like making sure, you know, I waxed the whole hood and then bam, there. It looked like it was brand new, perfect. Like, it was funny cause, um, well it wasn't funny. It was terrible. It was. Made me panic. It's funny now looking yeah, back it's at funny. it. Yeah, about the moment. Woo, mm -hmm. man. I was like, I was like, bro, if I don't get this fixed, I'm gonna cry. But yeah. you know, uh, you know. But you got it fit. Yeah. And, and then later on, the 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 customer came and he saw. He's like, amazing work. It looks brand new. Looks like it came out of the dealer. You did an amazing job. And I was like, because the whole time he did not know, you know, that that happened. And you know, that's one thing. You know, 
if, if if you know you messed up on something and you know you you need before you tell the customer exhaust all the uh, all on your list what's possible what it, it what can fix it but don't try to get creative and invent something new either because then that just might make it worse you know do the typical you know checklist you know it's like oh maybe go with a more basic polish you know um you know uh, see you know go a little slower go a little faster you know just the setting a little bit you know go with but always do it with a basic polish if you're going to try to fix it because you're going with a heavy polish you're just going to keep cutting clear coat with a regular polish you just kind of rejuvenate um the clear coat you don't actually cut cut so yeah um or if you do cut it's very minimal it's um it's not as being yeah it's not dangerous honestly to do a basic polish but yeah all right all right adrian so you detail in here growing your business you're yep. 19. Yep. what's the goal what's the plan have you thought about it be uh, let me let me throw some things i hear a lot can you tell me what you want to do so first of all i hear a lot of people that they want to have fleets other mobile vans out there making them money other people want to have a shop other people just want to do it themselves just to make some extra income what do you want to do well <laughs> it's a sound it doesn't, it doesn't sound i guess bizarre or but i mean i i guess it's a big vision of mine tell me tell us tell us i want to have it like if it was amazon uh -huh. you know kind of like affordable pricing you know good customer service convenience you know comfortable to use shows up at your door and and just being able to expand to that level i know i'm a long way from it and i know i gotta work a lot to get to it but yeah i want to basically be like amazon like um you know it one thing that that like really inspired me about it is just like number one day i was just sitting in my car and i was driving i was at a red light and i saw this guy open up a gate and just vans back to back of amazon just coming out and just like going in a row and i was like that's what I want for my business. Detailing. Yeah, for detailing. You know, oh. I want to have, I want to, I, I, I want to have, um, you know, uh, I guess a big presence in the detailing industry, and, um, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, even, you know, even if I gotta, you know, work, you know, work my ass off until, you know, I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, until I work, until I work, you know. Yeah. Shoot, my bad. No, yeah. you good. But all right, I get you. Yeah. Now that's a big goal. What's the next goal? You know, what's the next thing you want to hit or want to get? That's the next thing I want to get. A van? Yeah, because I need to save some money on gas and have more efficiency. Because I already have a kind of like a blueprint in my head on how I would want to have the van set up for optimal efficiency. Because um, I want to do good work, but I also want to be efficient, you know? Because um, at the end of the day, even though some people say it's not, uh, to a certain degree it is, at least with mobile detailing, time is money. Um, the more time you can you can um, get a car out, you know, uh, the faster you can get a car out is, you know, the faster you can get a car in. So advancing that goal, have you done some research or are you still just working on what you got right now? No, I've done some how, research. How much is it going to cost you, roughly? Um, well, the van itself, I kind of want to try to do a, a big down payment on it, but um, I want to get a little Transit Connect or a Nissan NV200. So the NV200, I think, runs you about like uh, like twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, there's uh, no, the, in the Transit Connect runs you about twenty four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So right now, all I'm doing is trying to build credit so I can get lower interest rate for payments and try to build up that big down payment. You know? Got it. All right, Adrian, how's it going over there, man? It's going good, you know, just cleaning up the rims, you know. All right, what's after the rims? After the rims, um, just uh, blow out any, like, you know, from the side mirrors, any water, vents, you know, uh, trunk. And then from that, windows, door jumps, and tire shine, and it's good to go. Cool. Actually, what are you using, man? What's that? It's a tire shine. It's a can, nice and wet, from Chemical Guys. Foams up then kind of, you know, starts to, once it foams up, that's when it starts to apply the shine. Um, if you want even extra shine, just apply it, let it sit for 15 minutes and apply another coat.
All right, Adrian. So what the people want to know, man, how much did you charge for this job? And look, I know you're just starting out, all right? So, hey, hey, we all got to start somewhere, Adrian. Yeah. So uh, what I charge for this job is $35, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I want to try to, you know, I guess promote affordability, you know. So, you know, uh, I, can, I can make it available to every consumer, not just, you know, high end. Got you. And the good thing also, they came to you. Yeah. And it seems like you really enjoy it, man. Yeah, no. I, I feel like you will be detailing even if it was in the business. I was detailing. Before you yeah. started, I was detailing even though it was in the business. <laughs> there you go. I do it for fun. There you go. Hey, he enjoys it. But hey, this is just a start. You've only been doing it for what? About a year or so? Yeah, barely a year. Barely a year. He's still going to grow more. So before I let you go, where can people follow you? Check out some of your work. You can check out some of my work at Golden Standard Detail. Um, golden dot standard underscore detail. Um, that's for Instagram. Uh, you can just search up Golden Standard Detail on Facebook and the page should come up. You'll know you'll be at the right one because you'll see this G, you know? There you go on your website, right? Yep, and my website, Golden Standard Detailing. Hey, I'll put everything in the description below. Go follow him. And if you want to see more detailing content, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.